Hey guys, welcome to another special episode. Today, we're gonna do something very exciting. We're going to unbox a product that isn't even on the market yet. That's right, today we're gonna to take a look at the Cobalt Phantom Ultrasonic Air Pump. So come along with me and learn how to be a better aquarist. All right guys, so here is the Cobalt Aquatics Phantom Ultrasonic Air Pump. And the important part to note here is the ultrasonic part. Now, most air pumps, most traditional air pumps, have diaphragms in them. And over time, it doesn't matter how good the pump is, over time, the air pump will create more and more noise and the diaphragm will get worn out uh, to the point where it no longer works. So, this being an ultrasonic air pump means that there isn't a diaphragm in it, uh, so it's something that you won't have to replace. Uh, the other part is, because it's ultrasonic, it's super silent. And if we look on the back, we can see that this pump is rated for up to a 29 gallon tank. It does up to 7.9 gallons per hour of air and it works up to a depth of 31.5 inches deep, which is pretty cool. It also only uses 1.5 watts of power, which is very low, and it only makes 35 decibels of noise, which is actually fairly quiet. So, let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we have inside. It comes in a nice little black box. It's got the Cobalt branding on it. The first thing we have here is the instruction guide. It's got a three-year warranty on it, which is very nice. That's something that you would expect because there is no diaphragm in it. So it's going to last a very long time. And then you have instructions in a whole bunch of different languages. Now, when you pull this out of the box, it's actually gonna come out in one piece already assembled for you. And essentially, if we unwrap this, we're going to find three components. The thing in the middle is the ultrasonic air pump itself. Then, obviously, you're going to have the tubing. Um, and this actually seems like it's a nice grade silicone tubing. And then you have a nice ball air stone. A lot of air pumps don't come with the tubing or the air stone, so it's kind of nice to see that this is already included, already ready to go. The third component is just the, uh, the power plug here uh, that you can plug into your wall. And again, this takes almost no power, which is very, very nice. On the back of this air pump, you will see that it has a suction cup. So this is really good for mounting to the outside of your aquariums. Um, so if you have a small glass aquarium, this would be great to mount right to the back of that aquarium. So that's what we have inside the box. It looks pretty straightforward. Um, I want to do a couple different tests with this air pump uh, to see how it works out. So the two tests that I want to perform, uh, the first one is a decibel test. I want to see how loud it is inside and outside of the water when I stick this air stone into water and when I take it out of the water. Uh, and then I also want to test the depth to see how deep I can put this air stone and still have this Cobalt Phantom air pump make bubbles. So let's go ahead and run both of those tests now. Alright, so as you can see I have a decibel meter running on my phone. If I'm completely quiet it goes down to zero decibels. And the important part is this was calibrated. So there is a little bit of noise in this room, but I've calibrated the decibel meter to eliminate that noise um, so that when it is perfectly quiet in this room, when there's no noise, when I'm not talking, it goes down to just zero. Just like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is do a decibel test. And what I'm going to do is plug this in. The pump is now plugged in. The pump is also only about three or four inches from the phone. There's also a plane flying overhead right now. and we're averaging three, four, five decibels. All right, that's with the air stone 
out of the water. Now I've got a container of water here. I'm going to put the air stone into the water and see if the decibels change. So we went from three to five decibels. And it looks like it might have actually gone down to around three decibels. So that's with the phone like four inches away. Um, let's go ahead and move this phone right on top of this air pump and see if that number changes. So we're right on top of the air pump and it's registering about six or seven decibels which is about double what it was before. Let's take this back out of the water for one second. And we're back down to like three to five decibels. So when Cobalt claims that this air pump um, has a decibel rating of 35, I would say that's definitely accurate and uh, it might actually be a little underplayed but I guess it depends on how deep the water is. Again, this was only a few inches deep. If you run it in a much deeper tank, this might create a little bit more noise, but I can tell you from just being in this room that when I plugged it in, I didn't realize that there was power going to it because it was that quiet. If you put your ear right up to it, you can hear it, but it's a very, very, very low hum. You could literally put this right by your bed and you wouldn't hear it. So on the decibel test, I would give this a two thumbs up. All right, so now that we've done that, let's unplug this, let's take this downstairs, and let's do a depth test. Let's see how deep we can put this pump and still have bubbles be created. All right guys, and for this second test, we're not gonna win any decibel awards because it's kind of loud down here in the basement, but that's okay, because we are testing the depth that this air pump is able to pump. Now you see I have it located up here um, with a clothespin attached to the top of this 55 gallon barrel, and I have the air stone all the way in the bottom of that barrel. What I'm gonna do is slowly start to fill this barrel over time, and I'm gonna watch for when the bubbles completely disappear to see what the max depth is of this air pump. Now it's important to note that the air pump itself needs to be located above the water line in order to get the maximum amount of depth potential out of your air pump. Otherwise it's working against gravity and uh, it's not really a fair test. So I'm going to go turn the water on. I've got my tape measure right here and we're going to figure out how deep this thing can pump air. Alright guys, and here we are with the Cobalt Phantom air pump still running. Um, I actually had to shut the water off because we're at the max water height of this barrel. And as you can see, that air pump is still going. In fact, it was still going and it was producing so much air in the airline tubing itself that the air stone wasn't heavy enough and it started to float and it's still operating. So. I'm actually really impressed with that. And if we look at the height here, we're right at 30, 30 and a half inches. And uh, Cobalt claims that the maximum operating depth of this thing is 31 and a half inches. So the amount of air that's still coming out of here, uh, I'm sure that this will go another inch if you needed it to. But as you know, with all diaphragm pumps, they wouldn't stand a chance at a depth like this. In fact, if they were placed in half this much water, um, you would probably see those wear out and uh, become really loud really quickly. So, that would give the Cobalt Phantom a two thumbs up in terms of how quiet it is and also the depth at which it can operate. So those are my two tests. Let's go take this back upstairs and uh, finish up this review. Alright guys, so there you have it, the Cobalt Phantom ultrasonic air pump. Now, a few things I like about this air pump 
it is quiet. It does work at a very deep depth as it stays on the box. And um, for all of you people out there creating nano sized tanks, this is definitely a nano sized pump and it's super quiet. So if you've got a small tank next to your bed, if you've got something in the office, if you've got something in a living area where you want to keep noise to an absolute minimum, uh, I would definitely take a look at this pump. Uh, as I said, the Cobalt Phantom is not yet out. It's due to hit the market April 1st, 2016. So if you'd like to get your hands on one, you can head over to our Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the description below um, for your chance to win this pump right here. When it does hit the market, it's going to retail for around $27. But for a pump that works this deep and is this silent, I think it's definitely worth it. So again, I'd like to thank our friends over at Cobalt for sending this pump in exchange for the review. And I'd like to give you a chance to win this pump for watching this review. So again, head over to our Facebook page for a chance to win this pump. Anyways guys, that's all I've got for you. Hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys later.